Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do a little spring patio and yard refresh in this video. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning. We're gonna build some new furniture, a little bit of yard work. Nothing too crazy or over the top, just simply going to get this space refreshed and ready for spring and summer. So if you want a little motivation to get your patio, or your backyard, or your space cleaned up from this fall and winter, then keep on watching because we're gonna get right into it. Starting off with a little overview of what things are looking like. We have all of our furniture stacked up out of the way of the snow and the rain that we've had this winter. Of course, you guys will notice that my cat Jasper will make an appearance throughout this entire video. He likes to be the center of attention, so there he is. I'm just gonna start off by moving all of this stuff off of the patio. We have our cornhole boards just kind of stacked up over here with our furniture. So I'm gonna move all of this stuff out of the way so I can prep for making this entire space fresh and new and clean. I bought this patio furniture back at the start of 2020 and it's held up pretty well. Covers come off really easy and they are machine washable so I'm gonna get those taken off so that way those can go through the wash. This big chair, or I guess the couch portion of our patio furniture is so dirty because we have a black lab and when he goes outside, he loves to get up on this couch. So I'm just gonna get all of the covers taken off of the cushions so those can all get put in the wash. I'm sticking those cushion covers in the wash with some laundry detergent and some baking soda and doing it on a heavy setting. Now heading back outside, this back patio definitely needs to be pressure washed. You can tell it's kind of muddy from this winter and we do have a dog and kids so that gets tracked onto the patio. It needs to be pressure washed, but I'm gonna leave that to my husband to do. Today, I'm just gonna get out the leaf blower and blow off the dog hair, the dirt, the leaves, whatever is on here that is in the way because I am gonna be putting down a new outdoor rug. So I at least want to get the debris off the back patio and we can work on pressure washing another time. But I believe my husband got this leaf blower off of Amazon a few years ago and it's battery powered. You just charge the batteries like on this charger thing that plugs into the wall. We keep it in the garage. So everything in this video today that I mention or that you see, I will try to link in the description of this video in my Amazon shop or something like that. I will hopefully probably just have one link that says links from this video and just have it all in one central place for you. So definitely check the description box if you are looking for links to anything in this video. But I got the patio blown off with the leaf blower and now I'm gonna take it and blow off all these benches. Just get like the cobwebs and anything that's on there, any sort of bugs or anything like that. And I'm also blowing off this little doormat that we have on the back patio too because it was covered in black dog hair, of course. Heading back into the laundry room, I am going to get those cushion covers put in the dryer and I did notice that one of the really big ones from the couch was still pretty dirty. So I'm gonna hit it with some Oxy stain remover, let that sit for a little bit and then run it through the wash again. It was just more dirty than the other ones and it needed a little extra washing. Now headed back outside, I'm gonna use the pink stuff to wipe down our fire pit table. We got this from Home Depot in 2020 also, and we love this thing. We do s'mores, we have it on for ambiance while we're hanging out outside. It's really good quality and I like it. So I will add that to the links as well. But that pink stuff cleaner really did a good job of cleaning off the stone and also that top cover. I'm also gonna use the same cleaner to wipe off the sides of the fire pit table. Ooh. 
while I was wiping down the fire pit table, I decided to go ahead and wipe down our smaller black stone over here too because it was just pretty dusty and greasy and dirty on the top cover and the sides. So you'll notice over to the right, we have our big black stone that is covered and we actually haven't been using that one because when we moved into this house, we had this one that I'm wiping down from our travel trailer that we were using while we were traveling full time. And so they both ended up here in the backyard. So we've just been using the little one. But when we are back in camping season, we are gonna be putting that small one back into our camper and then we'll use our big one again. But for now, we have two of them out there and we've just been using the small one. I got these 18 by 18 pillow inserts to use for the back patio. So I'm gonna get those unboxed. They came in these like vacuum sealed bags. And so that was really nice. They all came compact in one box. So I'm just gonna get all of those unbagged and fluffed up. Now headed back outside, all of the cushion covers are now clean and dry, so I'm just gonna go through them, make sure I have everything sorted out as far as what goes on what chair, because the back cushions are like a different thickness than the bottom cushions, so I'm just putting them together like how they go on each chair, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna grab those inserts that go in them and get the covers put back on so then we can get this patio furniture put back together. Now I've got all of the cushion covers put back on. Everything's looking fresh and clean. It's time to put out the new outdoor rug. So I also ordered this on Amazon. It is reversible, so you can have the black side or the tan side up. This would also be great like for a camping rug. It comes in this zippered bag. It also come with, comes with stakes and there's little like loops on each corner so you can stake this rug down. This would be great to have in your camper to like stake down in front, um, you know, to not track in a bunch of dirt or sand or whatever it is, wherever you're camping. Um, so I'll have that linked for you guys too. But I decided to have the dark side up. I love this print. So now I'm just gonna work on moving the furniture into place and then also kind of wrestling the fire pit table into place because it is pretty heavy and I was working alone on this day. So I had to kind of finagle it into place and twist it here and there without messing up the rug, um, but we got it. We got it. We can do hard things. <laughs> I 
already had this small little side table and that's also from Amazon so I decided to put that out here on the side of the couch just for drinks and whatnot. And I also got these pillow covers. They are outdoor covers. So I love this like turquoise blue color. I just wanted to have like a pop of bright color out here. So I am gonna get those put on those new pillow inserts and get those put on the patio furniture. Now for the tricky part. I ordered these lounge chairs. It's a set of two. I ordered them from Amazon and the instructions are a bit hard to understand. Um, it took me a good hour to put the first chair together and then I gave up and I did not come back until the next day to do the second one. However, when I did the second one, I knew how to put it together. So it was very quick putting the second one together, but Putting the first one together, I am not kidding guys, I got so incredibly frustrated. I about threw in the towel, but I am not one to give up on a project. So I am gonna get all this stuff unboxed and laid out and then spend a good 20 minutes looking at the instructions, kind of scratching my head like, what? There's no words, it's just pictures and numbers and letters and it was very confusing. But once I got it figured out, we were golden. So I'm gonna unbox all of this stuff, take all the wrapping off every, everything and get ready to start putting this tricky chair together. I will say if you guys get these chairs and you do build them, 
Make sure when you're doing all the screws that you only lightly put the screws in, like just turn them a couple of times just to set the screws in there. And then once you have the entire bottom part put together, then go back through and tighten all of the screws. It helps so much being able to like line up the holes and get everything put together the right way. So we are making progress here. I'm finally adding the bottom bars and then I'm just gonna go through here and tighten all of the screws down tight. Then I'm gonna add the back piece onto the chair. finally done and I'm just gonna flip the chair over add the little pillow piece to the top and then sit my butt down on this lounge chair and contemplate if I'm gonna put the other one together or not I was beat I was over it not to mention I've been sick for the last week you can hear it in my voice I'm still like a little bit stuffed up so I could barely breathe out of my nose on this day so by the time I was done doing everything I did on this day and then built this chair for an hour I was over it but I took a break and the next day we went to Target and I checked out the garden section and picked up a few of these cute little outdoor pillows for the front porch. We just have this little bench from Amazon on the front porch. So I got some cute little spring pillows and stuck those on the porch and now we are headed back into the backyard. I also got this cute little faux plant to put on this side table and a citronella candle. I also got this little basket to put the cornhole bean bags in so that way they are accessible and just have their own place so then when we want to play cornhole we can just grab that basket but I got that faux plant to put on here for now because I'm not doing any planting yet eventually I want to get a bunch of pots to go along the gravel along our fence and do a bunch of flowers I'm also going to be like doing a garden and all of that it's just not quite time yet we did have a week of like 60 and 70 degree weather and now it's kind of back in like the upper 50s low 60s for a little while and i just want to wait until it's a little nicer out we're still in the 30s at night so i don't want to plant my vegetable garden or any flowers or anything quite yet but when i do i will do another video like we'll do a full like spring gardening video i'm sure um because i did order some like raised beds and stuff like that but i just wanted a little pop of green so i got a little faux plant to put on that table for now but eventually i'll probably have like a pot of flowers or something there to brighten this space up and so this is the next day like I said and since it took me so long to build that first chair because it was just so hard to understand when I went to build this one I didn't even really have to look at the instructions because I just remembered how it went and it made a lot more sense so it was much quicker so I'm gonna finish getting this second lounge chair put together I know it's gonna be well worth it to have these lounge chairs in the backyard to lay in the Sun and relax and not just have the patio furniture to sit on but also be able to like lay back relax the book and all of that so I keep telling myself it is going to be worth it we finished that second chair so we have this little gravel area over here on the side of the patio and this is where we're gonna put these little lounge chairs so I'm just setting those up facing how I want them to face and then I picked up this little side table at Target just a little folding metal table 
And I'm gonna put that in between the two lounge chairs just to set our drinks and what have you. So now I'm gonna give you guys a little overview of what we've got going on on the patio. And compared to what we started with, it is looking so fresh and clean. I love the little pops of color and it's nothing fancy, but I love it. And I think it looks so much better and so great. And I actually brought my hibiscus tree from the front porch and I put it over there in the corner between the two chairs and the couch. So I can't wait to see her bloom again. She came all the way from Oregon with us and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully she survived and she's not dead, but I've been watering her and hoping that she makes a comeback this spring. So now I am done with the patio, done with the new chairs, and our grass obviously is pretty brown because it's been fall and winter and it snows here and also the grass is not looking great. So I wanna do a little fertilizer. We do have some rain coming and then some sun. And so I wanna get this fertilizer onto the grass and ready for the rain and then the sun. And I've used this Sunday brand before. I've actually worked with them before at our old house in Oregon. And I love this stuff. It is pet friendly, kid friendly, and it makes your grass really green. You can even do like a custom plan on their website for like your specific climate in your area, like your specific grass. But I just picked up this green machine Sunday packet from Target. You just connect it to your hose and then you spray it all onto your grass and it does wonders. So I connected that to the hose and now I'm just gonna spray all of the grass with the entire bag of that Sunday Green Machine fertilizer. So while we were at Target, I picked up a new bird feeder and some bird seed and then also some of these suets. And so I'm going to fill up the new bird feeder. It's a nut, fruit, and berry mix that we got. I will link all of this stuff for you as well. And then we got these suets that I'm going to put on the sides. This bird feeder has these little baskets and then these are like the perfect size to stick in those little baskets. It's just a little treat for the birds. So I'm gonna get those unpacked and stuck in those little baskets as well. We do already have hooks for bird feeders. These are the hooks that we used at our old house for our bird feeders. And so I stuck those in the ground and I tried to use that for the new bird feeder, but it's just a lot bigger, a lot heavier than our old bird feeders. So it wasn't gonna work out. So I went ahead and just set that bird feeder to the side and took that hook down and got on Amazon and ordered some different hooks. So I will show those to you guys here shortly, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the other smaller bird feeder that we have and set that to the side too. Now Cash's dog food and water bowls were pretty old and needed to be replaced. We needed some bigger ones and just some nice new clean ones. So I picked up these stainless steel ones with a little rubber gripper on the bottom from Target and he's enjoying them already. But I am loving how all of this turned out and it makes me wanna actually hang out out back now. So I'm excited to do that in the sun. And these are those vinyl fencing bird feeder hangers that I got from Amazon. They came super quick and they work awesome. 
But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little motivation to clean up your backyard space as well. And stay tuned for that gardening and spring planting video. That will be coming whenever the weather permits. But I appreciate you guys and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.